everybody. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Welcome to class today. Looking forward to uh, the next half hour together and uh, it's going to be fun. You're going to sweat. Um, we're going to have a good workout. So today's um, workout is our um, low impact cardio for our Wednesday session here and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, I know it's uh, probably a lot of you are disappointed that we're back kind of to a uh, semi-lockdown again with the gyms being closed and you maybe would have looked forward to do this session together uh, at the gym but uh, you know what there's always blessing in disguise it's nice to uh, be able to uh, loop back on our online uh, medium and uh, be able to be here with you that we still can work out together we can still uh, um, kind of touch base virtually and uh, be able to stay active and that you are able to take some time out of your busy schedule uh, during this kind of lunch hour to uh, to spend it on you and to focus on you and focus on your both physical and mental health so I'm really happy that you're here with me today okay so we've got a couple more minutes to uh, before we get started so our low impact cardio today I have about four blocks of exercises for you for 45 seconds each and then we'll go through them kind of quickly and then you get uh, a bit of break between blocks. We're gonna warm up first. Um, and all low impact. Again, I'm gonna stay low impact. Um, I'm not gonna necessarily offer any higher impact options, but if you do recognize the moves and wanna do higher impact, by all means, um, be my guest. So if you wanna jump, uh, do plyometrics, by all means. Okay, so I'll explain uh, each of the exercises in the blocks, um, but we'll get started in just about a minute with our warm-up first make sure that we warm up our muscles and our joints and lubricate the joints and get them all ready for the workout all right so you're here with me um, for the next half hour now we do have an option to maybe up these sessions to 45 minutes uh, both my Monday and the Wednesday session can be up to uh, 45 minutes if you do like that, please drop a, a, a note, a feedback in the comment section. Just let me know that, that if you would like that. Now, if I do go up to 45, I will at about the 30 minute mark indicate if you do need to leave to just make sure you cool down and take a couple minutes to stretch it out before you leave. And then if you can stay with me for 45 minutes, that would be fantastic. All right, so we're right at 12 o'clock. Let's get all uh, started. So shake it out. Let's march it out and give me a nice deep breath in. And exhale out, so in through the nose, out through the mouth. Again, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in and out. One more, just warm up the body, wake up that body, get it all set up. In five seconds, we're gonna squat it down and up with an option to go up on your toes. Three, two, and one, so hip width. Just kind of halfway, nice and easy, squeeze through the glutes here as you come up. Again, if you don't want to come up on your toes, that's perfectly fine. Squeeze back, so palms go up, uh, go back to the back wall, and you do like a bicep curl as you go down. Beautiful. So make sure that again, you're sitting at back, you can see your toes, chest is open, shoulders are down. After this, we're gonna do one more step touch and pull-ins. So step touch, pull it in. You're taking a rope and you pull it in. So elbows go back, squeezing the upper back together and your shoulders are down. <sighs> Keep breathing. Step touch, get a little lower. Use those legs, big muscle groups, and it really helps to increase your heart rate as well. <sighs> Side body reaches are next in five seconds. That's it. And one. So staying here, side body reaches, side to side, soft knees here. <sighs> focusing on the upper body, focusing on that side body. So kind of dynamic stretching at the same time. So <sighs> reach, reach, reach again, soft knees, reach. Now add a tap to the side, but stay to the side. Don't take the tap back. In five seconds, we are going to take the tap back and then reach to the corners. Three, two, one. Now, down and up, reach. And now, if you can't lift, lift the leg up 
and squeeze through the glutes. Don't um, uh, kind of bend through the lower back. Lift, it's not a kick, it's a lift using the glutes. Stand it up. And now we're going to tap and twist in five, two, one. Now tap and twist. So take your hips with you. Nice twist through the obliques. Finishing off. That's it. 15 seconds. Twist, twist, twist. That's it. 10 seconds. You got this. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Give me a deep breath in and out. Another one in and out. There we go. All done with the warm up. If you're just joining us, welcome. Low cardio, low impact cardio. Uh, it's low impact, but sure to get your heart rate up and give you a really good workout. It's good to see you all. So let's get started with block number one. So I'm going to explain. I got five exercises in each of these four blocks for you. And as I said, they're 45 seconds each, kind of back to back uh, with a quick transition and then you get a, a bit of a break between blocks. So the first one, we're gonna have like soft knee here. We're gonna have the leg, not to the side, back, both arms, we're going to bring it in. Twist, tap, twist, tap. Don't put the heel down, you don't have enough time. Then second move, we're gonna be lunging front, squat side, oh sorry, lunge front, lunge side, lunge back, okay? So again, low impact, always you have both or one foot on the ground. Then we're gonna to go to the other side to do our twist here like so, and then do our lunge side back. And the last one, we're going to squat with left and right knee up. So squat, right knee up, left knee up, okay? So in five seconds, get yourself set up. And three, and two, and one, twist, twist. So again, you're speeding up. This is cardio, but nice and control, right? Tap back, squeeze, squeeze, use the obliques, navel to spine, and keep breathing. That's it, so I've got exaggerated breathing. I don't want you to hold your breath. Now you can switch the legs when we do the lunging, up to you. That's it, you got this, come on. Push, 15 seconds. That's it, come on. You got this, come on, five, four, two, and one. Let's go, lunge front, lunge side, and lunge back again front form right when you're lunging that knee stays on top of the ankle the front knee does not go over the toes pushing the hips back when you actually lunge to the side navel to the spine nice and controlled don't roll your ankle that's it you got this 15 more seconds before we go to the other side with a knee and twist just tap to the center come on one more other side ready let's go if you need to take a quick break please do i know it's a quick transition from one move to the next navel to spine before you bring that knee up twist again listen to your body Watch your lower back and twist as much as you can without feeling any your lower back. That's it, come on. You're almost there and we're almost done with this block. Navel to spine, come on. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Down, right knee, left knee. So like we did, warm up, bicep, and palms back, push it back. It's a squat, don't bend through your lower back. Chest open, sit it right down low. 
and obviously you can go. So your heart rate should be really up there. That's it. Come on. Empty the tank for me. You got another 10 or so seconds left. You can do this. You got this. I'm with you right to the end. Come on. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Shake it out. Well done. Walk it out. Take deep breaths. Grab a drink of water. Reset. While I explain our second block. Okay, keep moving, please. Your heart rates are up. And uh, for this second block, we want to start off with soft knee again. This time, our leg is going to be out, tapped here. Arm, one arm to the side, leg lift, and kind of an oblique crunch. 45 seconds on one side. Then we're going to do hamstrings, pull down overhead. So hamstring, but the arms are overhead, down and up, really increases your heart rate. Or you can bring them a bit lower if that's too much. Then we're going to do this side with the oblique crunch. And then we're going to do squat walks. So we're going to get really low. And we're going to do two walks and then two walks. Last but not least, we're going to stay down and punches. Those are your four, five moves. Okay? All right. So we're going to get started about 10 seconds. Set yourself up. Choose your side. Nice soft knee. Right to the side. Elongate. Feel the work on your side and obliques. And let's go. Crunch. Crunch. Now, you're lifting side leg, right? So got your kind of your foot. Flex, leaning with the heel. This leg, it's key, it's gotta be soft, right? Don't lock the knee. That's it, come on, push. I know, I know. You don't have to jump <laughs> to work hard. Almost there. You got this. Five seconds. Three. Two, one, beautiful. Ready, let's go. <laughs> That's it, down and up. So hamstring curls, kicking your butt, arms overhead, kind of in an angle forward so you can see your hands kind of hitting at the top <sighs> here, right across your head. <sighs> and then we're gonna do the other side <sighs> with our leg left. Down and up, down and up. Come on, use the legs. If it's too much, bring the arms down. Navel to spine, that's it. Five, four, three, two, one. This side, let's go. Ready, lift, lift. That's it. Oblique, oblique, breathe. Do the crunch, lift, lift, breathe. You got this. Make sure again that supporting leg is soft. Don't lock your knee. Woo. <laughs> Let's go. So you got about a little bit, more than 10 seconds. That's it. Come on, push. Five, four, three, two, one. Ready? Squat walks. Two and two. So get low, stay low. If you need to kind of come up here, that's fine. Hi, hands to heart center. Squeeze, engage. Shoulders here, packs and squeeze. That's it. Two walks, stay low. Go even lower for about the last 15 seconds. And then punches, 
Seals the deal. <sighs> Got three more blocks after this. Three, two, one. Stay low. Punch, punch, punch. Now, tiny, tiny twists, right? Working through the obliques, through that core. Punch, 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 punch. That's it. Keep going. That's it. Get lower for the last 20 seconds. You got this. Empty the tank, get lower. Come on, 10 seconds. Even lower. Five. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Ooh, give me a deep breath in. And out. Again, in. And out. Beautiful. Keep moving, please. That's great. All right. All right, so block number four. No, sorry, block number three. We've got three more blocks left. Okay, we're gonna do half stars. I'll show you what it is on one side. Then we're going to do uh, squatting down and up. So we did squat down up with the knees, but this time just squat down and up. And then half star on the other side. Then we're gonna do repeater knee left and right. Okay, half stars. We're just gonna have our um, knee capped out here. And we're just gonna do elbow in, bringing that kind of, um, that foot in, tapping and out, okay? And then, you know, the repeater knee, you're gonna get low, arms up, repeater knee, really engage that TA, and then we switch to the other side. Okay, so take your last sip. We're gonna get started in about five seconds, starting off with that half star. I'm just gonna pick this leg this time. Let's go, ready? So really focusing here, really more on the speed, but again, control, right? So that shoulder is not like creeping up, elbows coming down, nice and tall, right? Soft knee. And then after this, we're gonna squat it down and up, going as low as you can. We got 15 seconds, come on, I know your arms probably getting tired. If it's tired, leave it down. Or reduce that range of motion. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Arms down, up. So kind of straight and then elbows go up to the ceiling. It's kind of a little bit like skiing, but arms come front straight, then elbow right to the back. Really again. Raising that heart rate, you're squeezing at the top, going to the lowest point. Don't drop your head below your heart, pushing your hips back. So lowest point, your toes are coming up, right? You never want to lean forward. Come on, 15 seconds. And then we do the other side with the star. Come on, push. I know. Come on, five seconds. Three, two, one more. Beautiful, this side, ready? That's it. And the two repeater knees, and you're done with block number three. Two more blocks, and the last block is on the floor. So as you can see, this could very well be called low impact core cardio because really a lot of focus on core when we're standing or even when we're on the ground. That's it, come on. You got this. Nice soft knee here. In about five seconds, pick a leg for repeater knee. Three, two, and one, I'm gonna pick the other leg, come on, push. So, you go nice and low here, bring the knee. 
You can do one arm or both. Tap and pull in, navel to spine, shoulders down, look forward, balance. Don't put pressure on your joints. That's it. Come on, push. You're almost there. I promise. <laughs> you have 15 more seconds. Then we're going to switch to the other side. I know these are quick transitions. Not a whole lot of time in between for the break. Three, two, one. Give you a second to shake it out. Other side, let's go. That's it. This is your last move in this block. Give it all you got, come on. Go lower, control, navel to spine. You can slow it down if this is too fast. You listen to your body, but you challenge yourself, right? Make sure you feel like you worked, you get all you got without hurting yourself or feeling pain, but the muscles are working, right? The muscles are challenged. You are in that kind of uncomfortable zone. Because if you stay in our comfortable zone, we won't grow, right? Same thing as with our bodies. Three, two, one. You rock, honestly. Beautiful. Deep breath in and out. Another one in and out. Okay, recovery time. Got about a minute to recover. Well, I explain block number four. Our last uh, um, actually I do have looks like I have four blocks for you and that will actually take us uh, right to the end before we have to uh, cool it down and stretch it out but uh, what I may do is maybe add one more exercise to the last block as a bonus because I just love you guys so much. <laughs> Give me a deep breath in, settle the heart rate and down, because you're gonna go right down to the ground. So if you do need a mat, grab it. If you don't, no problem. If you have like carpeting, you're okay. That's not a problem. So come down with me to the, to the floor. You can stay on your knees while I explain. Just kind of moving you side to side, help that heart rate to calm. The first move is going to be shoulder taps. So. You can be on your knees in that plank form or full plank looking forward. Don't drop your head below your heart. And then we're going to do our shoulder taps again before, without too much rock and rolling in our midsection. Then we're going to go on our back and do bicycle. We've done bicycle before, side to side without pulling on our head and really leading with the shoulder, actually leading with the obliques. But moving towards the knee the shoulder, trying to get the elbow. But you're not leading with the elbow, you're leading with the obliques. Uh, plank jacks, back in the plank position, low impact plank jacks, just tap it side to side. All right, then we're going to flip over again and we're going to do uh, bridge presses. So we're going to press up, one leg up, tap, other leg up. And then last but not least, we do mountain climber. If you have time, I'll add another mountain climbers again for low, just in, in, in. Or you can drop the knee. Or if you're on your knee, you can tap it back back so for all of these that are in a plank you can drop it to the knees okay let's get started are you ready we're going to uh, uh, start in about five seconds so get ready hands right under your shoulders in three and two and one with our shoulder tap so here the wider your base so your feet the further out they are the easier it is right the in or the narrower, then the, the core has to work harder to make sure that you don't um, rock and roll too much and staying nice and solid. <sighs> Keep breathing. <sighs> you have 15 seconds before we switch over to our back for our bicycle. So because we're switching back and forth and that can, kind of gives a little bit of break to your wrist, um, I'll give you a couple of seconds to safely get into your position right here. Drop it, switch, don't rush. Give about 10, 15 seconds, go down, 
legs up into tabletop, chin in, make sure you've got a little ball between your chin and chest, cradle the head, let's go. So again here, as I said, nice and controlled, right? We can speed it up a bit, but as long as we stay controlled, I do not want too much rock and roll in your midsection, use your obliques. You got this. Keep breathing, and then we're gonna switch it over in the plank to do our plank jacks. 15 seconds. If you get tired, drop it. Join us when you're ready. Five, three, and one. Again, just bring the knees into your chest. Quick side to side. Come up. Again, I'll give you about 15 seconds to transition between these moves on the floor, just to do it safely. Ready? Get into that plank position. Set. And go. So low impact, tapping it side to side, plank jacks. If you want to do the jump or the high, go ahead. Look forward, don't drop your head below your heart. Don't dump weight into those wrists. Squeeze. <sighs> Navel to spine. Kind of squeezing your shoulder blades together, but you're not dropping weight into your chest, right? You're controlling everything. And you're a nice, long plank. No rounded backs. 15 seconds. If you get tired, take a break, roll your wrists, come back and join us. Navel to spine, five, four, three, two, one. Onto your knees. Roll your wrists. Again, I'll give you 15 seconds. Let's take it down. Nice and strong. Feet close to your hips. So what this is going to look like, your arms are by your side. Harder is that the arms are up. You're going to push up in the bridge, lift, and then switch. Really nice and fluid, rolling down. Watch your lower back, okay? In five, four, three, and let's go. Now, if this is too much with your arms up, you can see me here, then put your arms by your side. So you go in the bridge, push up with the leg, if you don't like the leg, just push up and down, kiss the floor, go up. Just make sure your knees are not flaring to the sides, right? That's it. You can point the toes, you can flex the foot, whatever works for you. Navel to spine, nice and strong. Squeeze through the glutes, come on. Feel in the hamstrings, glutes. You got five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Again, I'll give you a few seconds to do the last one, last move, our mountain climber. And again, we don't have uh, much time to do another move. I think this is going to be it for this block of five exercises. So now again, you can go on your elbows if you find this is too much on your, on your uh, wrist. Take it out in three, two, and one. Again, making sure those arms are right under, keep going, the shoulders, right? And uh, you have different options. You can just drop the knees. You can go onto your knees and tap it out to the back. You can go onto your elbows and maybe tap it out or drop the knees. Many, many different options. Just don't stop, please. Even if you get up and start marching. I don't care, as long as you're moving, I'm happy. Be able to spine, use that TA as the knee comes in. You got empty the tank. Come on, this is the last 15 seconds of your exercise for the day. Come on, last five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, push it back into that child pose. Whew, you all just rock. I'm so proud of you, honestly. You're doing such a great job. As I said earlier at the beginning, this is rough times, circle the wrists. And I know you must be disappointed that the gyms are closed, but again, it's a blessing in disguise. I can see, see you virtually again. And if you're not able to come to my class in person on Wednesdays, you're able to come here. So I'm really happy to, to see you and that you've taken time to join me. 
And I've also said at the beginning that I'm thinking of maybe uh, doing these classes for 45, sec uh, 45 minutes, the Monday and the Wednesday. So drop me a note on the, in the comments what you think, if you like that, if you like the classes from 30 to 45 minutes. And uh, even if I do go to 45 minutes and you have to leave at 30, um, a few minutes before, I'll let you know to start cooling down and stretching yourself before kind of heading out, okay? So let's uh, roll it back down and stretch it all out. All right, give me a full body stretch from the tip of your toes to the tip of your fingers, nice and long. You did amazing. So really reach and give your body this well-deserved stretch. Bring the right knee into the chest. Circle the ankle and the air in one direction. And then the other way. And then take that leg up. You can have this other one. Bend your straight, flex and point. Grab the back of your hamstring or your calf. Breathe. And with each breath, try to bring that knee in or that leg in more to feel that deep stretch your hamstring and then place the leg on top of the other one into that figure four you can push against your uh, bent leg and feel the really feel the stretch in that right glute and you want if you like you can straighten that leg up too and then cross that leg over the top of the other one arms go to position where you drop the knees to the left as you look to the right Making sure again, your shoulders are on the mat, that you're uncomfortably comfortable. So this is a bit challenging because you're in a twist, but no shooting pain or cramping, but you will feel challenged. If it's too much, you can always bring your knees up or place something under your knees so that it doesn't go all the way to the floor. Come back up, fit together into a seal for inner thigh stretch. You can rock back and forth to massage your spine. So again, it's very important to um, stretch. So even if you have to leave before the 30 minutes um, with our 30 minute classes, make sure you take a couple of minutes just doing these similar stretching that we always do. Okay, other leg straight or bent, bring that knee into the chest first, and then straight up. You can always bend that leg, flex on point. Feel the stretch, the back of the leg. And then place that leg on top of the other arms, go through. Just circle the ankle in one direction. And then the other way. And then just place the, that leg on top of the other one, arms go T position, dropping the knees to the right as you look to the left. Same deal as the other side. Feel a nice stretch of your side body here. Breathe, get oxygen to those muscles that work very hard. And then slowly come back up and bring your knees into your chest and then one more side to side. Beautiful. Then come up into a seated position, grab the back of your hamstring and just round your back. Really get that nice round the back. This is the only time you're allowed to do this when you're stretching. And then do the reverse, hands back, shoulders down, shoulder blades together, open the chest, look up to the sky. Beautiful. And then come on your side, grab the back of your um, foot, your shoelaces, and give yourself a nice um, quad stretch. You can always push against that hand and Tilt forward to feel the deeper stretch into that hip flexor. Now let's switch it to the other side. Keep breathing. And then let's go on all, all fours, finish it off standing, curl your toes under, and I want you to come up one vertebra at a time. Head is the last thing that comes up as you come up, just roll the shoulders back and take your right arm across the chest. 
support below or above the elbow and drop the head if you like away from that stretching shoulder feel the nice stretch right in your neck drop it and just roll the neck to the other side and let's do the other side and then drop beautiful excellent so let's take a couple deep breaths in seal the deal in through the nose out through the mouth again last one tippy toes side bends team thank you so much for being with me here today i'm looking forward to seeing you next monday and i think next week on wednesday we have full body conditioning so we'll change it up a bit and uh and then uh, monday hit uh total body hit so looking forward to seeing you next week take care bye bye